a label about this song about a year and a half ago, and uh, the girl that works at the label was like, I got some really good news, Dave. She said, uh, there's a TV show that wants to use this song on the show, to which this is something I've waited really my whole life for, and so I got a little emotional on the phone a couple thousand of years. And, uh, and she said, there's more news. I said, what show, what show? And she said, well, it's a little show called All My Children, to which there were more tears, but a different kind. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and I said, uh, I said, uh, okay, and she said, but there's yet another twist. They want you to be on the TV show singing the song. So more tears, but for the first reason. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a cycle of tears, uh, which sounds sad. Um, so I, I'm so excited. I fly out to LA. My wife couldn't go. None of my friends could go. It was kind of one of those things where I had, to, I had to go by myself. And so I didn't really know. You know, I've been to LA before. I've never been by myself. So I rent like a convertible because I've I I only seen 80 movie, 80s movies where people have done that. So he goes, like, you sure? I'm like, oh, yeah, buddy. You know, get out there. And I realize there's this stuff called smog, uh, which hinders the experience. And, uh, you know, I'm driving about five minutes in. Like, <laughs> you know, uh, this is my nice thing. But uh, I get to the movie studio and I'm so excited. I'm like so excited. Pull in and the studio, like the guy who works, he's like the security guard at the studio, knows that I'm coming, which I didn't know was going to happen. So he's like, You must be Mr. Barnes. And me with this sort of like uh, Southern mentality of I should be really nice and know his name, which why would I know that? But this is the pressure I was under that I'd given myself. And so I, I try to read his name tag to act like I knew who he was. So I pull in and I'm like, uh, he's like, oh, you must be Mr. Barnes. I was like, you must be Ron. He was like, that's right. I was like, well, well. Which immediately I thought, maybe, you know, his parents were like, let's just have one kid, but we have a lot of names, so we'll just stick them together, right? And then I got more, I, I sort of got lost in thought, thinking, what if he had a little brother? And they were like, well, we have even more names. Anthony. Just like, uh, so, I go inside, and the guy who's kind of my contact here is, you know, is like, man, we're so excited to have you here. Let's go get you, you know, to try out a bunch of clothes. So I try on these different outfits, whatever, for the, for the show. And he takes me to the dressing room. He's like, all right, you feel good? I was like, yeah, man, I feel great. I said, uh, is there anything else I should know? He said, well, you know, you're, you, you have lines on the show. Like, you have a part. And I was like, well, this is new information to me. Uh, which excited me, because I thought, this is my chance to debut my British accent. <laughs> become a hit, basically. Just Hollywood, it's just, I'm going to take it over by storm. <laughs> it's the British, I don't know what I'd be, the pizza boy, I don't know what I'd know I was going to do show. Are you here for your pepperoni, son? People going crazy for Daniel the British pizza boy. I didn't know, these were things in my head. Dreaming. So, uh, and so as he's leaving, I said, hey man, before you go, like, who, who am I playing on the show? And he said, well, you're playing yourself. And then I asked the question, I feel like anybody would ask, well, who am I? <laughs> He just left. He actually didn't even answer that question. He just kind of walked off. And uh, he comes back and gets me, takes me out to the set, and I'm so excited. The director comes up and gives a big hug. He's like, man, we're so excited you're here. He said, um, you have your lines? He's like, I got him. He's like, great, great, great. I said, um, well, why don't you tell me what I'm doing? He said, no problem. So the deal, this is what he explains to me. On the show, which he didn't say this part. This is all he said. He said, well, you know, the actress is a big fan of yours. So when she walks down, now, I didn't know that he meant on the show. So that created a awkward conversation later in the day. Yeah, oh yeah, that was awesome. Um, I can't get that minute back of my life. <laughs> That's out there and gone. Um, so, yeah. Um, so he said, she's going to walk down the stairs. You are a surprise guest because her husband, who's also a big fan, which he didn't say on the show, awkward conversation too, of the day. Oh, thank you. And... Uh, so I, they're going to walk down the stairs, and she sees you. She goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. That guy looks just like Dave Barnes, to which he says, that's because it is. Which I was like, yes, that's the best line of all time. That's because it is. Now, that's my cue. I turn. He says, you'll be milling about, to which I stop him. I said, now, hold on. Does that mean that I'll be making grain and or bread? Because, <laughs> right? Because if I am, I'm not a Quaker, but I can play one. But I will need time. I'll need a couple more minutes just to get there. To get jump on Wikipedia, figure it out, get there. I can do it. Uh, he oddly enough didn't answer that question. Either. It was just, it was 
So I don't really have it. So, <laughs> so I said, uh, I said, okay, well, what do I do now? Well, when he says that, when I turn, I walk over, and he said, you know, just say something to him and walk up the steps. I was like, hold on, I really don't want to mess it up. What do I say? He said, well, don't say anything out loud. I said, so should I shake their hands? He said, no, don't touch them. To which I'm thinking, this doesn't leave me a lot of options. <laughs> you know, but I just sort of look at him and then walk up. I didn't know. So the first take, true story, I'm so nervous, and I don't know what to do with my hands. That, and they're two feet away, so I'm just going to walk over, and I, I do this. <laughs> so as I'm mid shoot, I'm mid shot, still gunning. I hear cut. I'm cut. Him. And he says, walks over. He puts his arm around me, still shooting. He says, Why are you shooting, Dave? I said, I don't know. I think I'm just nervous shooting. Nervous shooting. He said, We all nervous shoot, Dave. Why don't you put the guns back in the holster? <laughs> uh, and. Uh, he said, don't do that, just do something else. And the second time, true story, I sort of ninja bowed, because that's all I knew to do. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I walked up the steps. The guy gives me my guitar. I started to play the song. I felt great. I had a little earpiece in. I was lip syncing it. felt great. Nailed it. Awesome. Okay, I'm done. Well, he runs over. I said my lines. So everything went fine. He runs over. He's like, we need to do it again. I'm like... I did something wrong. He's like, you're not, quote unquote, you're not playing the guitar right. To which I was like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, was I like... <laughs> I didn't know. I was confused. But they took it. So if you watch the clip online, enjoy the fact that I never sing without something in my hands. And so, it got so, I was like doing Diana Ross moves. Just kind of, you know, I knew fire, I knew waves, birds, small birds. If you watch it, it's the most embarrassing thing I've done online. You can just YouTube uh, Dave Barnes and all my children, you'll see it. Uh, but uh, I'm going to have a couple of the Jars guys come out and play on this last song. Thanks so much for having me, Leon, guys. Thanks for